AZ and Carton, today I have a haul video for you guys. Now recently uh, I've seen quite a lot of people do videos on these and show that they are collecting them. And I recently got into it, kind of wanted a few of them and just really like the design. So yeah, I'm now actually collecting some Amiibos. Um, mainly trying to go after the rare ones just because I know those will be a pain to pick up later on throughout the line. So yeah, figured I'd go ahead and try to find some. Uh, for the past like three weeks, I've been trying to look for Amiibos, but haven't really had any luck until today, which I went to three different stores, and two of them uh, were very good, so yeah. So first off, I went to a Best Buy in my local area, and I looked on their uh, pegs and stuff. As usual, they just had the same Amiibos that everyone else has, but I asked an employee, and this time this employee actually, uh, I never asked him before, but... Unlike most employees, he actually went to the stock room and checked for me if he had any others besides the ones on the floor shelf, basically. And he was able to bring out a few to me, and I found some that were I was interested in, so I decided to pick them up. So first off, I have this Silver Mario. So yeah, I know this is like kind of uncommon, not really uh, rare at all or anything, but pretty cool. Uh, it is, of course, a, a Silver Edition exclusive thing. So I figured I'd go ahead and get it because it looks pretty awesome, so yeah. So that's the first Amiibo I got from Best Buy. And at the same Best Buy, I actually purchased two more Amiibos for the standard price of $12.99. And I was kind of surprised to see that they actually had this one in. Now, I got two of this one, but uh, one of these is going out to a friend already. So, yeah, if you guys, you guys were wondering why I purchased two, uh, one of them is going to a friend. Perhaps in the future, I'll probably try to pick up two of each Amiibo just for so I could have one sealed in collection and possibly one to open up if I do get the Wii U in any games. But... Mainly they look awesome as display pieces, so yeah. So the amazing one I found, as you guys might see, is Meta Knight. So this was a Best Buy exclusive. I'm pretty sure on IGN it's listed as an uncommon to find now. But this came out in February of 2015. Uh, the date of today is currently June 14th, 2015. So yeah, I was surprised to find this. Give you guys a look at that. Definitely an awesome looking amiibo metallic silver and on his uh, face plate and uh, what is it called gloves as well as metallic purple underneath you guys can see there like uh, the little wing tips are kind of dirtied just to give it that bowel scarred look I believe it was or bowel damn uh, or like dirtied look as you can see with like the black on there as well so yeah it definitely looks awesome and surprisingly they actually had two of these in stock so I decided to pick them up and as I said one of them will be going out to a friend so yeah, here's the other ones you can see. And now they are different since they are kind of like supposed to be a little weathered looking. So this one has like a lot more weathering on this as compared to this one. So yeah. So really surprised I was able to find two Meta Knights. They look awesome. Uh, here's the back of it. And I'll go ahead and show off the Silver Mario one as well. So yeah, pick these three up from Best Buy in the morning. Uh, I really recommend you guys to ask your local Best Buy to see what, or like retailers that sell Amiibos to see if they have any more in the stock room. Uh, hopefully you'll find a, a kind employee that will actually check for you and hopefully they do have some. So yeah. Next I went to uh, Toys R Us. Now I've been trying to get Greninja for three weeks. Uh, I was told that they were going to get a shipment in uh, because my Toys R Us gets their stuff in late. So I went there and they told me to go on a certain day. Unfortunately by the time I got there. They did get their shipment in, but they only got four of the Greninjas. And by the time I arrived, they sold out. So that was unfortunate. But uh, today I went back and I called the store beforehand, checked to see if they had anything. And upon confirmation, I went and had and went there. But yeah, so I actually picked up another Silver Mario. Uh, because uh, currently, if you guys don't know, for this week only until Saturday, uh, Toys R Us has a buy two Amiibos for $22 deal, which is pretty awesome. Uh, usually they'll retail at $13.99 at Toys R Us, so it's like a dollar more than other retailers. But yeah, figured I'd go ahead and get the Silver Mario again, since I could get it for a better deal. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the other one as well, and have one opened and one sealed. Or if I'll return the other one, or if I'm just going to go ahead and give it to another friend. But yeah, so I have a secondary Silver Mario. Uh, let you guys know what you think I should do in the uh, description down below. Should I just uh, return it to, uh, so I can have more money for more Amiibos, or should I have two for collection? Because I've see, I've heard quite a lot of people do that. And yeah, so same as the other one, it's another Silver Mario. And the very the one that I'm also very happy about besides the Meta Knight is they actually had a Greninja. So the employee I asked before uh, that told me everything, 
apparently, uh, since I missed out, I didn't go on Saturday, which they actually got another shipment of four in. But he was working that day, so he set one aside for me without me even asking. And after three weeks, I actually found him at the Toys R Us, and he told me that he had set this one aside for three weeks. So I was so happy to finally get the Greninja. And it's just an awesome looking amiibo, so yeah. Of course, this is the Toys R Us exclusive for Wave 4, so it's pretty hard to get now. Not sure if Toys R Us are going to be restocking in him or anything. So yeah, very happy to have this in my hands now. Fortunately, the box does have like a slight little, if you can see there, wrinkle crease thing. But that's perfectly fine considering that he reserved technically a Greninja for me, so very awesome. So that basically does it for this little haul. Sorry if the video has been a little bit long, but yeah. So I was able to pick up two Meta Knights, two Silver Marios, and a Greninja. So let me guys know what you think of this video. Uh, let me know if you want to see more Amiibo opening, or uh, more Amiibo videos. I'm not sure if I'm going to be opening them since I don't have any games to use them with yet. And I'd just really rather keep them as display pieces as this because the packaging looks awesome and so do the figures. So yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see more. Be sure to hit the like button, especially if you want to see more. And yeah, and please let me know. Should I try to get like two of every amiibo so I can have one for uh, sealed and possibly want to open it up and have as a display as well? Or should I just go for one at a time, like one of each? So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please be sure to hit that uh, like button as well as comment if you wish to. And please be sure to subscribe to see more of my usual openings which are Yu-Gi-Oh, Card 5 Vanguard, and some other random things once in a while. So yeah, just let me know if you guys want to start seeing Amiibos on this channel. I'll be, do my best to try to hunt some down, but it'll probably be a side thing because Amiibos come out like every few months and the exclusives are the really uh, like important ones to try to find. So yeah, so thanks for watching and yeah, Asian Card.